We're going to be reviewing the Cobra LCD X Iron. There are two versions, the one length and just the standard. I'm going to be reviewing the standard version today. The one length is a video coming very, very soon. So first up for technology, the main piece of technology throughout the whole LTDX range is that power core technology. Now this is a multi-layer weighting system, which you can see on the top of the club, and it makes it a more flexible body face and sole, and also a lower and centered CG for distance. It's slightly different to the metal woods and the drivers there, but still very similar. And they're saying obviously more distance, more ball speed, things like that. I'm not too concerned about that because it will be largely quite similar to the Rad Speed. But when you come to kind of forgiveness and feel, it does have a brand new polymer filler in it. So it's supposed to feel really nice and it's got some milled face and grooves. So it's supposed to be accurate, forgiving, you know, you know the deal, accurate, forgiving, more ball speed, the usual stuff. But let's just see how I get on with it. Let's hit some balls now here at Silver Mill Golf and see how I get on. All right, so I've got the, uh, the six iron here in the LTDX range. And just first impressions when you look at it is, I mean, realistically, there's not too much difference between this and the Rad Speed. I'll show you the Rad Speed as well. And it's, it's a nice club. I do think, in all honesty, Cobra are a little bit of a way behind in their game improvement irons. I just think they're not really up there with Callaway and TaylorMade and Mizuno. But this can be improved quite easy just with improving that feel. And when you look down at it, it's actually a lot sleeker than I thought it was going to be. So when you look at it from a point of view here, much, much better than Red Speed. There's a lot less going on with the Red Speed. Just on the top line of the club, you had a little bit of a, a little bit of design on there. It looked a bit strange. I wasn't a big fan. A lot of people weren't big fans of it. It's a very large club. Now it's a little bit sleeker. Almost that I look at this as, let's say, a four iron or so and consider putting it in the bag. That's a pretty good start if it gets up. Ah, that's a shame. Slightly out of the toe, that one, but I think that's pretty decent results, as you can see those numbers. Nice smooth swing, just a little bit short. But one thing I'm surprised about there, if you look at that spin rate, the spin rate is actually climbing quite high. First initial thought, I've, I've hit this club a lot more than just one or two shots. I've hit hundreds of shots with this iron now uh, in practice. And uh, it is a very, very good feeling club. Nice looking shot. Yeah, really got a hold of that one there. And you can see it, land, it lands quite softly. So again, it's quite a, um, quite a spinny club for a, a game improvement iron. You would expect, oh, come on. <laughs> you would expect a club that is of such strong loft, I'll talk about in just one second, to kind of have a relative uh, loft to spin rate, such if it's a six iron, even though it's not a six iron with a loft, it's probably around 4,500. It looks like this one is slightly, slightly spinnier than, uh, than expected. So. It's got really good six iron loft numbers, but you usually see it being a little bit low. I liken it to the tailor-made stealth when I hit the six iron there. Uh, it was very good numbers, but the spin was going at about four, 4,500, which is kind of what the loft was. The loss of these, strong, really, really strong. And I do have a problem with that. So I'll put a loft on the screen for you now, but you can see a six iron at 23.5 degrees of loft. I, I know every brand's doing it, not criticizing Cobra at all, because it's just what ha what's happening, but when will it stop? Will it stop when a six iron's 20 degrees and a four iron's 15 degrees? Who knows? Oh, you idiot. <laughs> so I can't hit them all great, but if you look at that, my club face control wasn't great there, and it was slightly out of the toe. Uh, I would have a very difficult up and down from 220 yards but it still went the exact same yardage as the ones before. Ooh, get in the hole. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there. Oh, that's close. It's good to see uh, Cobra more or less listening to the masses of people giving feedback on their irons. Last year, the rad speeds were good, but I don't think they were that popular online. They certainly sold very well, but they weren't that popular online because the purists looked at the design, just how big they were, and it was looked a little bit gimmicky. Whereas this year, they've made the design a lot better, a lot sleeker, and it appeals to a lot more people. That's good. Yeah, probably my best one there, just a nice little draw. The question that I am not asked myself now, and I think what you guys probably asked me is, who would you recommend these for? Uh, and I think the really good improvement they've made this year is, well, as I've said, it makes it a bit of a broader spectrum of people that can play this club. The rad speeds were, I think, purely towards a very, very strong game improvement set. So, so for high handicap players. And this is still up there, it's still in that category. It's still a game improvement set, absolutely. But 
as I always say with game improvement, you kind of want to, when you're buying them, you're aiming to use them so you get rid of them and get a better set. This will last a little bit longer. And I think the durability of these as well, as they've taken out the, uh, the, the 3D printing, the layered lattice and everything in that, they'll be a lot more durable. And for the price, it's going to be hard to find a lot better. Get in the hole. Yeah, not a good one there. It's identical to the last one there. Have I saved the best till last? That's nah, just a little long. That's a great shot though. That's a lot of really nice shots there. Quickly take a look at the averages from these golf balls here. You can have a look at the spin rate averaging at 5767 is actually really, really positive for a game improvement iron. They've kept that backspin high, which I'm really impressed by, meaning that although you're gonna hit it quite far, you're still gonna get some really nice results because it's still, that's the main problem, as I said, with game improvement. Sometimes they're a bit too low and you're gonna to struggle to hold some greens. Cobra have made sure you're not gonna do that. The carrying yards, look, we're going to get that with every game improvement set now, especially with the lot, 212 carrying, 220 yards overall with a six iron. Great numbers, nothing that's that crazy when you're looking at the lot and comparing it to a Callaway, to a TaylorMade, but very good nonetheless. But ball speed, club speed, very, very good. I think value for money wise, these Cobra irons are pretty decent, don't you think? Let's hear my final thoughts. So guys, that brings me to the end of this video. The LTDX irons by Cobra are a very, very strong game improvement irons. There are a lot of positives with this club. And I think the standout things for me is the feel. It's a very big improvement to last year. I know the lofts being strengthened isn't great. I'm not a big fan of it. It's not just Cobra who are doing it though, but I, I do understand why they're doing it. It does make them a distance iron. They don't really need to, but they're very forgiving and they do go a long, long way. RRP of these Cobra LCDX irons, 799 pounds. So a very fair price in today's market. Golf clubs are very expensive. 799 for an iron set, it's very, very decent. I know there'll be a lot of questions regarding these iron sets, probably comparing them to the TaylorMade Stealth, the Callaway Rogue. Don't worry, I've got a lot of comparison videos coming very soon. But if I had to give just a very quick outline of what I think, the Cobra LTDX irons from a feel point of view, pretty spot on. Forgiveness, not too sure yet. And for distance, not too sure yet either. It's just feel. So stay tuned for some more comparison videos where I'll see which one comes out top. Guys, if you did enjoy this video today, leave a like down below. Any questions as well, pop them down there too. If you are new to Golf Magic, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you can keep up to date with all of our videos, all our comparisons, reviews, challenges. We've got a lot coming for 2022. I hope you guys are excited. Next video up in the LTDX series is the Cobra Fairway Woods. So I'm gonna go do that and set that up now. So until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.